Hey, what's up everybody? Thunderbob here, and I am going to do another dungeon here. Uh, this is uh, my third video. This is not like a complete playthrough as I'm playing a little bit on the Steam Deck in between these videos, but any of the major dungeons I come across, I'm going to do a video on. I'm not sure if this is a legacy dungeon, but it seems a little bit more substantial. I started it on the Steam Deck, so I know kind of the beginning layout, but uh, I haven't gotten all the way through it. I didn't have enough time, so I kind of quit, and I said I'll start this again on the PC. Uh, I have progressed a little bit further on my uh, scooter tree stuff. Um, so I've got seven. I did just a little bit more exploring and five for the revered spirit ashes. I haven't leveled up at all since then. Um, yeah, I haven't really changed too much. I did end up uh, going back and buying a bunch of this stuff. I didn't have uh, the um, the runes for originally. Like I had, I'd beaten um, Millennia, but I didn't buy her crown and stuff. Elden Lord crown. So there's like a bunch of stuff I went back and bought, but I'm probably, I don't know, I, I do like the Radon's armor a lot. The weight to negation is pretty good and it just looks badass. So that's still what I'm using. Still rocking Blasphemous Blade. Uh, I have picked up some other stuff that I want to play around with, but I need to level them up and I haven't wanted to stop. Like I wanted to try this Fire Spark perfume, even though it uh, doesn't scale very well with what I'm using. Still think uh, it might be fun to, to toy around with. Um, yeah. But let's see if we can uh, we can get through this. This was another one of those uh, Scuda upgrade things here. So, yeah. I've done this a couple times on the Steam Deck. Uh, I don't think I'll have too much trouble. If I could hit the guy. And again, this is um, this is not like my complete playthrough. I am playing some time in the Steam Deck, and it's just not uh, it's not that fun to try to record footage on the Steam Deck. I usually don't do any voiceover. Um, like, run's not great on there. And then, um, is there another path down here? Oh, I I did actually. You know what? Uh, I I already opened up a shortcut here. That's why that gate was open. So. Uh, I forgot how I even got here. I was playing on the Steam Deck, like, hours ago. I need a little bit more endurance. Um, but any of the major dungeons I'm trying to do exclusively... Oh, that's right. I came in... You have to come in the back way, and then you come up the ladder, and then you go across, and you unlock that door, and it's like a shortcut. Because you'll probably get here, and this door's going to be locked. You have to go that way, down and around, through the water, uh, come up, unlock the door, and then this pathway will be open. So, uh, if it looks different than your first attempt, that's why. I did I did come through on the lock it already. And there's a wolf here, if I remember right. A sneaky, sneaky wolf. And there's some wizards here that are very annoying. How did I miss? It's those ones that like disappear and reappear. There's like three or four of them. Oh, that's perfect. He just like appeared right. Sometimes you're like chasing those guys for 10 minutes. There's also a path over and around and up there. I already collected everything, so I'm not going to do it again. There is a pain in the ass guy right up here. This is about as far as I got the last time, so I'm not sure how much more of this, this is, there is. It doesn't look like it's a huge area. This might not be a legacy dungeon. It might just be a one of those uh, kind of mini dungeons, but it does seem to be a progression stopping dungeon. Like, normally you can't get over here unless you come through here, but I did find a secret shortcut. Uh, if you come into the castle front and you come all the way down here, I think it is, and then I don't have the map for it yet. But over here, there's like some uh, of those springs that let you jump up, jump up. And then I came through here, and uh, this is actually a really small uh, fort area here. Uh, so I cleared that out, and then there was a site of grace, and then I ran up here. There was a McWillis there, there, and I think I grabbed one there, even though they don't show it on uh, the minimap for whatever reason. That's kind of weird. Yeah, some of these there's a symbol, but I'm pretty sure I picked one up there also. 
Uh, but that's pretty much what I did uh, on the Steam Deck since my last video. Now let's see if I can actually kill this guy. This guy's kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, like a pretty big chunky health bar. And he hits pretty hard. Yep, that's half my life. And he is very opportunistic. Where he will, um, Jesus. I feel like I'm definitely a little low on endurance. More even than mana. There's times where I'm like, I could keep wailing because my, my thing does have like a pretty good amount of stun on it. Um, but then I'm out of endurance and like, oh, I could have killed that guy if... Ooh, ooh, that was close. I shouldn't have done that one. Ooh, okay. He got in just in time to get that stagger. Great. Knight sword. Cool. I think that's a new weapon. Let's, let's look at that. Okay. Now we can do the order thing. And... Okay, it actually worked. So it is strength, dex, intelligence. So I will never use it because it's intelligence. But I wonder if you upgrade it, if the, the intelligence is the highest one or not. But I can't even equip this right now. I don't have enough, enough intellect. All right. We're going to keep going because I've never gotten this far. Again, if you're watching this for the first time, if you skip the other videos, I don't know why you would do that. But if you did, uh, you'll notice I'm playing in ultra wide. Uh, I'm using flawless widescreen if you want to see how to do that. Uh, one of my previous videos goes into some detail on how you can set that up. Okay, so there's like a little path here. There's a little door here with a... That's not a ladder. I thought that was a ladder. I feel like I should go down first. Maybe there's a shortcut or something. Not that that was a long run. Just okay. Seems suspicious. Wolf crest shield. I actually kind of I need to look at shields. I I I've been using this one forever, um, but I feel like there's probably better stuff out there. I just I I mostly cast and I just throw the shield on on occasion. So, like, this one uh, is slightly heavier. Let's see. I wish there was a button where I could see... Yeah, I mean, no, it's slightly lighter. But it's got... It's got the same physical, better magic, lightning, but worse fire, holy, guard boost. It's a strength scaling. Uh, I, I, I don't want to stop and, like, really analyze that, but the less weight might actually be good where I could swap some other stuff out. I need to look at it a little closer, but we're not going to dig too deep into that right now. I know that helmet. They're a caster. I'm not gonna give you a chance. And let's talk to this dude. Oh, America. They beg and brace your child and give us a sign. How long must this holy war stretch on? That's a good question. And... I think that was a new... Enhance attacks executed after maintaining the same stance for a while. Hmm. I also got this. Um, which I, I'm not sure if it continues stacking or if it's just like a single stack, but I feel like that could be useful. I kind of want to do a little research on it. But I don't want to change out my, my setup at the moment, but... That's another one I might use, but it's kind of hard to, like, know what to drop. So I actually didn't see anything different, because I, I kind of like my loadout right now. I got some 
mana regen, I get some health regen. Uh, I get the, the one thing that just gives me enough to wear uh, medium rolls. And that's like, maybe if I change out my shield, I could take off the um, talisman that gives me the additional weight capacity. Because that's like all it's doing. And if I didn't, if I was medium without that, I wouldn't use it. So if, if I can swap out that shield, maybe I would take that off and then I'd use that. All right. One guy up top. Is there anyone else lurking? I don't think that's going to hit him. Should have switched over to my lightning attack with better range. That's a waste. That was cool. Feeling this is going pretty well, other than wasting like all my potions on that first enemy. It's gone surprisingly well. And it's the first gate I've come to, like, in the entire expansion that wasn't locked. I did also, I, I don't know if I'll include it in this video, but I found what the storeroom key went to. And also, look at this thing, this is awesome. That is, that's a cool helm. I almost would use that, but I like Redown so much better. But it's actually, it's kind of better. So everything, look at all the... It's like better physical, better. The only thing that's worse is robustness and focus, which I don't know if I know what focus actually does. And it's way heavier, but it's not enough to put me into the uh, heavy load. But I don't know if I could play the game like this. Like, I feel like it would mess with my, like, I don't know. It makes me feel like I'm bigger, even though I'm not. But look, it's like gigantic. It would be cool if he actually used his hands to move it around like the, the boss does. I just love this set, though. The flowing hair and stuff. It just looks so cool. I feel like it's a... It's a good trade-off between... Uh, like, mitigation and weight. Like, there's some that definitely... Um, have better mitigation. But most of them weigh a lot more. There's, like, one or two, I think, that are... Uh, pretty close. Or maybe even one that's a little better. But I like the look of this one better than, than those. It, mostly the armor here is for looks, I feel like. like yes, there's the stats can be very slightly different between them. Some of them have, like, you know, extra attribute or something. But mostly it's all about how badass do you feel wearing it. Ow! Oh, you guys are very aggressive. Back up. That's awesome. That attack, sometimes, I didn't even do the charge up version there. Sometimes it just seems like the AoE is way bigger. How did I not see that guy? I walked over him. I was focusing on the loot. Bro. Picked up bro from my daughter. She's seven. And she's like, just says bro to everyone. Now I do it like ironically if I say it. Sorry. I think I could have bypassed all those guys had I not drawn aggro. And I think it looks like the end is maybe right up here. Or maybe in there, up over. I'm definitely going through potions quicker here than in that last legacy dungeon. Shit. That was a waste. I kinda hate fighting right up against the wall there because my sword, when I go left, right, left, it, it almost always catches on it. Do you find it cheesy to like look uh, around walls like that. Imbued sword key.
I keep hitting the wrong button when I... See? I... I keep... So that's tools, but like, sometimes I don't know... Oh, it's just one of those. Yeah, I forgot about those. If those even exist. Are you going to be a pushover, or are you going to be tough? I want to drink a potion just in case. And we'll do it, because there's probably a side of grace before the before whatever boss is at the end here. And he's... Relatively a pushover, hopefully. Ooh, I got him right before that. That potion took effect. Alright, up we go. This might be a short video. I find, like, every time I come to a room, I'm, like, peeking. Yep, there's the Sight of Grace and probably the boss. No scooter tree though. Do I reset everything? I guess I do because I'm not going backwards from here. It's all it's forward. And actually I came I came all the way to here and I could literally see the boss portal. Um I could see this boss portal. Like okay, so we came around, I guess. Yeah. Uh but I was at this because I took the shortcut around, so I was here. I was literally like, I could just go right to the boss portal from the backside, I guess. I never really thought about that. Um, but I'm like, no, I should do the dungeon the right way. Like, it just didn't feel appropriate. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of smithing stones, but I haven't found anything to replace the Blasphemous Blade yet. Or the the uh, Relic Sword that I switched to sometimes when there's a lot of AoE going on. It's just such a good... Yep, here's the boss. All right, let's see if I could do it on the first try. Like I beat uh, the dancing lion guy. Am I good to go? I reset everything I did. Okay. This will start there because I don't know if I'm going to need the mana or not. I didn't see a summon here, but I'll I will be cheesy. Oh, this looks fun. Let's get some distance and then... It's probably not gonna hit him. Oh. That just took half my health away. Shh. Oh, that's gonna... Crazy! Look at that thing! Jesus! That sword covers half the battlefield! I'm playing real cheesy right now. I'm out of mana. I'm like afraid to go in because he's gonna one shot me. But this is super cheesy. I'm just letting my Mimic take all of the hits while I use Blasphemous Blades AoE attack. I feel kind of... Oh, that was a rem Remembrance. Cool. So that... Does that make this a Legacy Dungeon? Or are there some of the Remembrance guys outside a Legacy Dungeon? I don't, in the base game, where they were all in Legacy Dungeons, weren't they? Am I thinking about that wrong? I might be thinking about that wrong. But that feels pretty good. I beat... Uh, what was that guy, Ramilla? Should probably go check out what all these Remembrance can get me. I haven't seen anything I like so far. And look, that's the the one. Yeah, I was there. I could have just literally come in here and fought the guy and skipped the whole dungeon, but I I feel like I would have missed out. It was it was worth it. I should probably. 
All right, well, this is going to be a shorter video than I was expecting, but uh, I don't think I'm probably going to add much more to it. So, um, God, this this game is just constantly, and like in the ultra wide, it's a goddamn beautiful masterpiece, I tell you what. Like all these places, everything I've seen a distance so far, I could I could get to them. It's I don't know, it's beautiful. I'm really I'm really enjoying it and after I found a few scooter trees, the combat and stuff definitely evened out. Like the first impressions are this is overly difficult. But if you do just a modicum of of exploration, don't go right to the bosses. You will have a bad time. Uh, you know, you start out here. Um, look, look for these Aquila crosses. One's there, and then you can go through here, and you grab the one here, and then you can come around here. And there's one. Can't remember if it's there's one over in this area. Hop back down, go across the bridge. There's like one right here. There's like one right here before you enter the castle. Um, one right here. And then what I did is I hopped, you can like hop up here and then clear this. It's a pretty small fort, grab the grace. There's one here, there's one here. You can also get one here. I'm like 90% sure even though the symbol's not there. And I think that's all the ones I've gotten. Uh, there's also one in this legacy dungeon I got in the last video. I can't quite remember exactly where it was, but yeah, I got 90% of them outside of dungeons. And those give you a huge power boost. Like, seven of them, I, I think I've read it's either 4 or 5% more damage and damage reduction. So if it's 5%, you know, that's 35% more damage, 35% more damage reduction. I can definitely feel it based uh, on, you know, I, I'm doing these dungeons without dying now. Whereas in that first video, the second mob I fought, it, it bodied me. So, yeah, I'm going to end again. Uh to be a shorter video i'll probably do a couple more I'm, I'm gonna try to do all the bigger dungeons with kind of main bosses as videos uh for posterity and if people want to watch them so thanks for going on this journey with me if you enjoy what i'm doing please like subscribe drop me a comment with any thoughts and just have a have a good night everybody i'll talk to you later